Algal growth and filter resistance. There is Somea Water Works in Weather City, Japan. The surface water was taken for this plant. The bloom of filamentous diatom of Melosira is remarkable in warm period. When this algal growth was observed, this filter became good condition. I checked the algal mat on the surface by my handmade sampler. In winter, algal growth was not seen on the sand bed. However, algal growth was confirmed in shallow model. Seasonal change of algal biomass was checked in 1988. In winter, single cell of diatom which grew on the stone in a riverbed was dominated. Filamentous diatom of Merozilla grew gradually from March. This tendency was confirmed by this graph in logarithmic scale. The amount of attached algae in the river was large in winter than in summer. The volume biomass of Melozilla was occupied about 80 to 90 percent from June to December. Development of algal mat was checked by the plant pigment of chlorophyll A. The data was arranged in every month. Length of filter run was only about 15 days in winter. They scrapped frequently. In summer, the length was about 20 days. There were filters which had a long filter run of about one month in one period. In one period, there were rapid growth and then almost constant biomass. However, in July and in August, the decrease of the biomass was seen. Development rate of algal mat varied in different months. The initial biomass after scrapping was large in winter. When the Merosira bloom was seen, the initial biomass became small. This biomass was penetrated algae among the sand layer. The doubling time in days during 0 to 10 days after scrapping indicates the development rate of algal mat. Doubling time became short when water temperature increased. However, its rate did not become worse in autumn, even in cold season. The biomass of algal mat at the initial days after scrapping may be related with the penetrated algae into the sand layer. In winter, temperature was low. Attached algae from the river penetrated into the sand layer. When the filamentous algae grow, sand layer did not become dirty. In cold season, the filter resistance of normalized hedros increased rapidly. When the filamentous algae grew well, the filter did not clog. In February, the resistance at the first day was a little bit high. Then it decreased. However, this decrease was not seen in one period. This decrease may be caused the bubbles among the sand layer after scrapping. The time resistance of the disappearance of these bubbles may cause with temperature. This phenomena may be related with the viscosity of the water. In one period, there was extraordinary rapid increase of resistance near the end of filter run. In this water works, they put the filter rate near the end. They wanted to show the high resistance. They controlled the high flow rate. Therefore, the real resistance of normalized hedros increased, and the suspended matter might penetrate it into the sand layer. This was caused by 
miss operations. In cold season, the filter was easily clogged with small amount load of suspended matter. However, when the filamentous diatom was seen, the filter did not easily clog even the large amount of load of suspended matter. Algal mat of Merozilla was trapper of suspended matter. This algal mat with suspended matter lifted up to the surface and it escaped away through the scum outlet. Algal growth of Merozilla was beneficial effect of this system. Biological activity was weak in cold January and February. Attached algae flew into the filter. These algae just accumulated on the filter bed, and these may become the clogging materials. When other mat merozilla became remarkable, filter did not clog. Biological activity accelerated in warm condition. In 1970s, Tap water had a dull smell in weather city. In this city, they treated prechlorination in this water works to kill the algae. In this time, algal bloom was not seen. However, useful microorganisms was also killed by these chemicals. This clog pattern was similar with the wind in winter. Biological activity was so weak. When filamentous diatom grows well on the sun surface, filter does not easily clog. Algal growth promotes the heterotrophic organisms such as microbes and small animals. Filamentous diatom could grow in a shallow model. Even in cold season, there is a spring in a flood plain of a river. This is suspended free clear water of subsurface water in a river. Even in cold season, the bloom of filamentous diatom is seen. When the water source is the surface water of a river, we have to eliminate the suspended matter by the pretreatment without chemicals. Then filamentous diatom may grow well in shallow depths even in winter. Best water source is subsurface water of a river.